In this demo, I will be showing how to use the blob count tool in Zebra Aurora software. First, open up Zebra Aurora, come to the screen, we're in the view devices area. We notice that we have a VS40 that is connected to our PC. Let's click manage, then new job to create a new job on this device. We will call this blob count demo. Click create job. This brings us to our main area where we will configure the job. At the top, click the build chevron and we will see a toolbox full of all of available machine vision tools. Go to the bottom, counting tools. We will see the edge count, blob count, pixel count. We want blob count. Hover over it, it'll give you a brief description. We could click and drag this over to our Flow Builder area. Flow Builder is a top-down sequence of tools that make up a job. As soon as they do that, you will notice that an ROI appears on the canvas. In addition to that, you'll see the blob count tool over here, uh, auto expanded. I just decreased it. I could expand it again to show blob count related settings. Next, I will turn this live view button on to put something in front of our camera. So you could, for demonstration purposes, you could see my hand there. I'm going to throw a automotive gasket in the field of view, turn off live view. Now I will take our region of interest and I will put it around this gasket with the goal here is to count the number of holes in the gasket or blobs per se. First, you'll notice that the gasket itself is purple is uh, highlighted purple. That's because it detected a black blob on a white background. You could change this to white and it'll do the opposite, inverse. Basically it detects blobs that are inside this uh, dark area. Within that area, uh, we see we have a blob count of four, which is uh, highlighted up here in the uh, top bar. We also see uh, if we scroll in with uh, our mouse wheel, we could right click on each one of these blobs to get more information about that blob including area and pixels, major and minor axis length, which is X and Y, the angle and the X, Y coordinates uh, for each one. So we could see this one is around 2000 pixels. If we right click on this large one, we could see it's around 48,000 pixels. For a quick demonstration of how you could tweak this further and use uh, filters and such, we know these smaller blobs are approximately 2000 pixels. So I'm gonna set a max of 10,000 here. Once I click that, you'll notice that the large blob is no longer detected. We only see three uh, blobs and that blob count is reflected up here. There are other uh, similar settings that we could tinker with on the side, but that pretty much demonstrates how easy it is to use the blob count tool within the Zebra Aurora software.